Hey, welcome back to my channel. I'm Kristen. You're watching Kristen Cooks. And I have a little soup recipe that my daughter wanted me to make, so I thought I would share it with you. So we are making chicken gnocchi soup. And in this big Dutch oven, I am putting in some olive oil. After the ol olive oil is nice and hot, I'll put in just about one breast of, one chicken breast um, I didn't have any chicken cooked previously that I could throw in this recipe, so I just decided to cooking it would be the first step in this recipe for me. So after I cooked the chicken, I took it out of the pan, and now I'm going to saute the veggies for the soup in the chicken um, drippings. Okay. So celery, carrot, shredded carrot, garlic, just let those kind of sweat down and soften. And then I'm going to add in the carrot. The uh, celery takes longer to cook, so I started with the celery. And then I'm going to season the soup with the onion powder and garlic powder. Um, Italian seasoning and salt and pepper and then just let it oh lemon pepper season salt too that wasn't in the recipe but I wanted to add it in I thought it would be nice with the a nice flavor with the soup and then just let it kind of sweat out and get nice and soft this is supposed to, I've never had this at the Olive Garden. This recipe is supposed to be better than the Olive Garden. So I wish I could say yes for sure, but I've never had it. This is a very good soup though. We really enjoyed it. Um, so yeah, so butter and then add in some flour. This is going to be the thickener for the soup. And just let it all cook away, cook out that raw flour taste. And now it is ready to put in the liquid. So three cups of chicken broth goes in first. Scrape up those those nice flavor bits on the bottom of the pan from the cooking the chicken and then sauteing the veggies. Scrape that up really nice, really good. Get all that up and into the soup. We don't want to waste all that flavor there. And then we'll go in with three and a half, three cups of milk. I used, I, I kind of cheated. I used 2%. I didn't have any whole milk. Don't tell anybody. Um, and then a cup and a half of heavy cream. That's going to give it really nice richness and make it a, a hearty soup. That's for sure. And then two cups, or a cup, sorry, of chopped frozen spinach. This is just some little baby spinach I had in my freezer. I should, maybe I could have chopped it up, but anyway, I didn't. I just defrosted it a little bit and threw it in the soup. And then here is the chicken. I shredded it up and threw it in with the, with everything else in the pot. Now it needs to bring, come up to a boil, put the lid on. Once it is boiling like it is now, then it's going to be time to add in the star of the show here, the gnocchi. My daughter and I picked this up at the World Market and it was a pepper, uh, pecorino cheese flavored gnocchi. So we, we wanted to try that, look good. And at this point, the soup is pretty much done. We had this for lunch on this day, and this recipe turned out pretty darn well, I must say. It was really hearty, a really nice lunch. It's been kind of rainy and cold here in Oregon, so this was a nice little lunch that my daughter and I had. And then we're going to have plenty left over also. So I'm going to have this recipe linked for you in the description box. I think it would be a nice soup to have because it's just, look at it. It's gorgeous. Look at all that spinach and chicken and 
the carrot in there makes it kind of sweet and it's just a really really nice balanced soup so thank you for watching and come on back for some more videos bye